Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 64 of Engineer's Life 2. And uh, yeah, last episode, I'm not 100% certain what happened to the microphone. But it uh, it was there until the video was actually rendered and then it was not. So, here's I can figure out my rendering program. Showed my, uh, my microphone while I was editing. And then lost the audio file uh, in the process of actually rendering it out. So, unfortunately, I am not really in the habit of watching my video again after it's rendered because usually, whenever I'm doing the editing and stuff, it comes out exactly the same as when rendered. So, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of what happened there. Um, but actually, I'm thinking about ending the series off, at least for now. And one of the things is, I really kind of hit the point where there's not much to work for, towards. Honestly, I mean, there's a few quests I still have to do. And honestly, um, yeah, like yesterday's, I was searching for Elder Prismarine to get that quest finished off. Yesterday's episode took five hours to record, so that would, you know, wasn't the best. Hey, Bear. Um, I kind of did it to myself, though, honestly. But it's like looking at the quest book, I've got a few chapters done. And I mean, like we go to culinary engineering, there's a lot of foods to make. That's just, it's just grind at this point. Uh, then there's like industrial four going. I could sit down and grind out all these machines real quick. I would just need oh, a good amount of netherrack or ne netherrack, netherite to uh, get a lot of these advanced machine frames. But that's kind of about it. I mean, these would be fairly easy, like the block breaker, blue place, or all that. That's pretty simple to make. But uh, for the most part, just really haven't uh, felt the need to get into that mod a whole lot. Got most of the immersive engineering stuff done. We played around with most of it. I haven't uh, gotten as much into like immersive petroleum motorboat or whatnot. But my closest body of water is this ring of a river <laughs> around this portion of the desert here. But it's a uh, kind of it's like the mod pack has great early game and mid game, but towards end game, it's just one of those. It kind of devolves into just making stuff to make stuff and uh, and hoarding resources, which I mean wouldn't be bad. It would be a lot better with the company. I think this is fixed now. Uh, the, my pond froze up. I put a torch on the side of my fissure here. Uh, let's see. But that's kind of about it. It's like I could, you know, I've got a, another tree farm over there that's running great. Could do something similar with this or rework this system like I was thinking about. But for the most part, I don't don't really need anything. Oh, that's what I was hearing was that thing chopping. Okay. Like, what is that sound? <laughs> it's been a while since I've been over here. Uh, you know, this thing's working great. But it's just one of the things I really, I don't need it. I made comment last episode, which unfortunately didn't get recorded, but I haven't really done a mining trip since like episode 20. I've just been coasting by on resources at that point. And that's actually one of the things I love doing is mining, but there just hasn't been a need to do it. I got the new smelting array and everything set up and it works great. Hear me bring my chip back. I got it charging right now. And see go grab some food oh yeah i should probably equip it right there we go uh, let's see let's, uh, let's see no ate those recently Same with that real cheesy yep hmm yeah i'm not gonna eat a fistful of ground pork that just doesn't sound appetizing my uh, pulled pork sandwich is almost there though Stew, I don't think I've made that yet, but 
Okay. But yeah, uh, the pack is very well done. There, there was a few things I would like to see in it. Uh, one is maybe beef up the road slightly. I mean, right now it's just doing the quest to get him out of the way, but uh, the hell did that come from? I'm going to blame an Enderman for that one. But honestly, the rewards have been kind of lackluster so far. I, they almost feel like they've been placeholder rewards. And uh, I, especially when you start getting a later game quest, like, oh, yay, I got a copper ingot. It just, like, why am I bothering to collect the rewards besides to make the little notification go away? But uh, the main thing is I would like to see is uh, some more questing, actually. Uh, like, even we have Alex's mobs in this pack, but there's really, really not a whole lot of quests that, uh, that deal with that. And that and some of the uh, statistics quests are just, like, way out there, right? 10,000 mobs. I could do that if I set up, like, a mob grind or something, but, like, games quit 500? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a long time for I hit that. I managed to die only five times in this pack, and I'm not really wanting to beef that number up just for that purpose. But, you know, kind of stuff like that. Um, did like the fishing. The downside is, you know, Aquaculture 2 is pretty grindy when you're going for the Neptune's Bounty quests, so. But other things is, like, uh, the inclusion of the, the Gourmand enchantment. Very handy, but it really just makes it a lot less likely you're going to do anything with food. Because you just don't need to. I mean, that's kind of it. Uh, let's see, other things I'd like to see kind of added in, you know, questing-wise. But like I said, the, you know, the Alex's mobs, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to have a, a quest to tame a bear. You are looking at your... That is cute. I did not realize that they would do that. Also, I should see if, you, if I have any health potions or something, because you're still kind of hurt. Alright, um... The Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's see. That did like what two hearts? All right, yep. Yeah. Uh, salmon, right? You like salmon? Pretty sure you do. <laughs> uh, yeah, overloaded on fish. Whoops. All right, come here, buddy. No, that doesn't heal you at all. It just it puts you in the mood. All right, that's a shame. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, that and things like... I'm not too fond of the Master Adventure quest. I mean, it'd be cool to, to have it happen. But, oh, yeah, it's uh, always a bit fun. But if you're going to go for Master Adventure, you might as well throw in something like Sniper Duel, too. Uh, let's see. <laughs> One of the biggest complaints. Please, just disable phantoms. They are extremely annoying, especially if you're trying to AFK for anything. Uh, maybe some way to process combs faster would be nice, too. Because I was thinking about getting more into bees to do stuff, and it's just... The amount of these wonderful centrifuges I'd have to have is just absurd, honestly. If I was to have two bees of every resource constantly generating for me, and that's just two. I mean, you can go easily to five, you know, just have one bee's nest, you know, for every every resource you want. But I even with four speed upgrades, they just really don't keep up that well. Yeah, I would like to see some more end gamey kind of stuff too. I mean, maybe not hoarding quests or something along those lines, but 
Uh, I guess that would be about it, though. Or that, or something else. I'm not sure exactly what. But it's just like, I hit this point, and it's just like, okay, well, I've got every resource. Um, I can move my miner over to the nether, get netherite, or that way. I could put an excavator in there. I'm pretty sure you can excavate netherite, right? In the uh, quartz veins. I do not have a manual on me. But I mean, also, the last time I checked, the ore veins are customizable too, aren't they? Uh, let's see, ores, no. Mineral deposits is what I want, which would be... Yeah, right here. Okay. What is that? Ar yeah, archaic dig site. 60% gravel, 40% ancient debris. If you need a lot of it, which you could if you're going to be going to a lot of uh, industrial foregoing, then yeah, definitely. But uh, I would need to do that for netherite and whatnot. And you guys are just having a rough time with those wires, aren't you? But for the most part, uh, Act was a lot of fun and whatnot. I just kind of... I don't know, kind of got burned out with not having anything to go to. I never did touch reactors. I never had a need to, though, either. I mean, there's, we can make a good size reactor, but we can't transport all that much power out of it, really. And, uh, I mean, I've got my little substation over here. But, we, yeah, we don't have ways of moving large amounts of power around, which kind of, one of those things like, okay, well, why would I bother with a reactor then if, you know, it's, I have to keep it a small one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. Uh, I mean, unless you want to get really, really ugly with the wiring, you couldn't go above 32,000 R per tick, which is not really that big of a reactor when you get down to it. That makes me wish we had, like, alternating flux or something like that in the pack that can move huge amounts of power long distances. I'm not sure if that ever made it past uh, 112, though. I don't think it did. That and the other thing is, I'm just not all that happy with 116. Just the base game itself. Uh, you know, I didn't hurt, you know, help myself any whenever I put shaders in the pack. But 116, oh, 113 on have been plagued with like basically performance issues due to decisions on Mojang's part and there's quite a few threads about it and everything but the official reason is pretty much they wanted to make Minecraft better for people playing it on potato PCs which I can understand but they decided to basically hobble everybody else's client to do so and it's just it reminds me of back in the 125 to 1.3 days whenever they changed single player to make it more like multiplayer by basically introducing lag to single player which is something we've just kind of dealt with since then but running on an internal server rather than just in a single player instance it yeah that caused a lot of issues a lot of hurt feelings back in the day but you know we can thank Jeb for that one But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now. Um, in future updates, I'll probably revisit the pack. And I'm probably still going to do a few things here and there in this world. I'm just not going to be doing daily videos on the pack anymore. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.